subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. The Apostle Paul uses the phrase walk worthy in Ephesus chapter 4 verse 1 and Colossians chapter 1 verse 10. In the first three chapters of Ephesians, Paul encourages the believers with the glorious truth of God's grace in choosing them out of the world, so that they would be holy and blameless in his sight. Then in chapter 4, he turns to the practical application of the theology, exhorting them to walk worthy of their calling and position in Christ. To walk in the New Testament often refers to the daily conduct of one's life. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, God has ordained that his children should walk in good works. Paul similarly encourages the Colossian believers, praying that they would walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to His glorious power, for all patience, and long-suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Paul assures the Christians in Rome that all whose faith rests in Christ have been baptized into his death and buried with him, and that now, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. The word worthy has the idea of matching up, our actions should match our words, and our outward presentation should match our inward convictions. To walk worthy of our calling means to live up to that calling, to live in such a way as to honor God as we complete his course of action for us. In Colossians, chapter 1, walking worthy is tied to four personal characteristics. 1. Being fruitful in every good work. 2. Steadily increasing in the knowledge of God. 3. Using the power of God to joyfully endure and patiently persevere. And 4. Giving thanks to the Father for what He has done. The command to walk worthy of our calling does not mean that we are to somehow merit or earn our position. Rather, Paul is exhorting believers to live their lives so as to prove they belong to Christ. They are to maintain a fidelity to Christ and live with integrity. True believers will display the fruit of the Spirit who lives in them. Their daily lives match their message of the Gospel, their position in Christ, and the character of Christ. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the Gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and have not works? Can faith save him? We have been called with the holy calling. James reiterates the idea that we should walk according to that call, our lives reflecting good works. James is warning those who do not walk worthy of their calling, that their faith is a dead faith, which is no faith at all. How we live should match up with what we say we believe in the gospel. We have been called out of darkness into light, out of slavery to sin into freedom, and out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God. The reality of that calling is reflected in our daily lives, as we rely on his divine power to walk worthy. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children and walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.